Maine is a New England state in the northeastern region of the United States. Maine is the 39th most extensive and the 42nd most populous of the 50 U.S. states. It is bordered by New Hampshire to the west, the Atlantic Ocean to the east, and the Canadian provinces of Quebec and New Brunswick to the north. Maine is the northernmost state in the contiguous United States east of the Great Lakes. It is known for its jagged, rocky coastline, low, rolling mountains, heavily forested interior, and picturesque waterways, and also its seafood cuisine, especially lobster and clams. In spite of its maritime position, it has a continental climate even in coastal areas such as its largest city, Portland. The state capital is Augusta with a population of 19,136, making it the third least populous state capital in the nation. For thousands of years, indigenous peoples were the only inhabitants of the territory that is now Maine. At the time of European encounter, several Algonquin-speaking peoples inhabited the area. The first European settlement in Maine was by the French in 1604 on St. Croix Island, by Pierre Dugois, Sieur de Mons. The first English settlement in Maine, the short-lived Popham Colony, was established by the Plymouth Company in 1607. A number of English settlements were established along the coast of Maine in the 1620s, although the rugged climate, deprivations, and conflict with the local peoples caused many to fail over the years. As Maine entered the 18th century, only a half-dozen European settlements had survived. Patriot and Loyalist forces contended for Maine's territory during the American Revolution and the War of 1812. Maine was part of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts until 1820 when it voted to secede from Massachusetts. On March 15, 1820, it was admitted to the Union as the 23rd state under the Missouri Compromise. Geography to the south and east is the Atlantic Ocean and to the north and northeast is New Brunswick, a province of Canada. The Canadian province of Quebec is to the northwest. Maine is both the northernmost state in New England and the largest, accounting for almost half the region's entire land area. Maine is the only state to border only one other state. Maine is the easternmost state in the United States in both its extreme points and its geographic center. The municipalities of Eastport and Lubeck are, respectively, the easternmost city and town in the United States. Escort Station is Maine's northernmost point, as well as the northernmost point in New England. Maine's Moosehead Lake is the largest lake wholly in New England, as Lake Champlain is located between Vermont, New York and Quebec. A number of other Maine lakes, such as South Twin Lake, are described by Thoreau in the Maine woods. Mount Catardine is both the northern terminus of the Appalachian Trail, which extends southerly to Springer Mountain, Georgia, and the southern terminus of the new International Appalachian Trail which, when complete, will run to Belle Isle, Newfoundland and Labrador. Maine has several unique geographical features. Machias Seal Island and North Rock, off its easternmost point, are claimed by both the U.S. and Canada and are within one of four areas between the two countries whose sovereignty is still in dispute, but it is the only one of the disputed areas containing land. Also in this easternmost area in the Bay of Fundy is the Old Sow, the largest tidal whirlpool in the Western Hemisphere. Maine is the least densely populated U.S state east of the Mississippi River. It is called the Pine Tree State. About 83% of its land is forested. In the forested areas of the interior lies much uninhabited land, some of which does not have formal political organization into local units. The Northwest Aroos took Maine unorganized territory in the northern part of the state, for example, has an area of 2,668 square miles and a population of 10, or one person for every 267 square miles. Maine is in the temperate broadleaf and mixed forests biome. The land near the southern and central Atlantic coast is covered by the mixed oaks of the northeastern coastal forests. The remainder of the state, including the northwards, is covered by the New England Acadian forests. 
Maine has almost 230 miles of coastline of tidal coastline. West Quaddy Head, in Lubeck, Maine, is the easternmost point of land in the 48 contiguous states. Along the famous rock-bound coast of Maine are lighthouses, beaches, fishing villages, and thousands of offshore islands, including the Isles of Shoals which straddle the New Hampshire border. There are jagged rocks and cliffs and many bays and inlets. Inland are lakes, rivers, forests, and mountains. This visual contrast of forested slopes sweeping down to the sea has been summed up by American poet Edna Street, Vincent Millay of Rockland and Camden, Maine, in Renaissance. All I could see from where I stood was three long mountains and a wood. I turned and looked the other way, and saw three islands in a bay. Geologists describe this type of landscape as a drowned coast where a rising sea level has invaded former land features, creating bays out of valleys and islands out of mountain tops. A rise in the elevation of the land due to the melting of heavy glacier ice caused a slight rebounding effect of underlying rock. This land rise, however, was not enough to eliminate all the effect of the rising sea level and its invasion of former land features. Much of Maine's geomorphology was created by heavy glacial activity at the end of the last ice age. Prominent glacial features include Soames Sound and Bubble Rock, both part of Acadia National Park on Mount Desert Island. Carved by glaciers, Soames Sound is considered to be the only fjord on the eastern seaboard and reaches depths of 175 feet. The extreme depth and steep drop-off allow large ships to navigate almost the entire length of the sound. These features also have made it attractive for boat builders, such as the prestigious Hinkley yachts. Bubble Rock is what is known as a glacial erratic, and is a large boulder perched on the edge of Bubble Mountain in Acadia National Park. By analyzing the type of granite, Geologists were able to discover that glaciers carried bubble rock to its present location from the town of Lucerne, Maine, 30 miles away. The Ipatus suture runs through the north and west of the state being underlain by the ancient Laurentian Terrana and the south and east underlain by the Avalonian Terrana. Acadia National Park is the only national park in New England. Areas under the protection and management of the National Park Service include Acadia National Park near Bar Harbor, Appalachian National Scenic Trail, Maine Acadian Culture in St. John Valley, Roosevelt Campobello International Park near Lubeck, St. Croix Island International Historic Site at Calais. Climate Maine experiences a humid continental climate, with warm, humid summers. Winters are cold and snowy throughout the state, and are especially severe in the northern parts of Maine. Coastal areas are moderated somewhat by the Atlantic Ocean, resulting in milder winters and cooler summers in immediate coastal areas. Daytime highs are generally in the 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit range throughout the state in July, with overnight lows in the high 50s degree F. January temperatures range from highs near 32 degrees Fahrenheit on the southern coast to overnight lows averaging below 0 degrees Fahrenheit in the far north. The state's record high temperature is 105 degrees Fahrenheit, set in July 1911, at North Bridgeton. Precipitation in Maine is evenly distributed year-round, but with a slight summer maximum in northern, northwestern Maine and a slight late fall or early winter maximum along the coast due to nor'easters, or intense cold season storms. In coastal Maine, the late spring and summer months are usually driest, a rarity across the eastern United States. Maine has fewer days of thunderstorms than any other state east of the Rockies, with most of the state averaging less than 20 days of thunderstorms a year. Tornadoes are rare in Maine, with the state averaging fewer than two per year, mostly occurring in the southern part of the state. 
In January 2009, a new record low temperature for the state was set at Big Black River of minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, tying the New England record. Annual precipitation varies from 909 mm in Presque Isle, to 1,441 mm in Acadia National Park. History the original inhabitants of the territory that is now Maine were Algonquin-speaking Wabanaki peoples including the Abenaki, Passamaquoddy, Maliseet and Penobscot. European contact with what is now called Maine starts around year 1200 when Norwegians interacted with the native Penobscot in present-day Hancock County, most likely through trade. About 200 years earlier, from the settlements of Iceland and Greenland, Norwegians had discovered America and attempted to settle areas such as Newfoundland, but failed. However, evidence suggests that Norwegians in Greenland returned to North America for several centuries after the initial discovery to collect timber, the most relevant evidence regarding Maine being the Maine Penny. The first European settlement in Maine was in 1604 on St. Croix Island, by Pierre Dugois, Sieur de Mons, including Samuel de Champlain, the noted explorer. The French named the entire area Acadia, including the portion that later became the state of Maine. The first English settlement in Maine was established by the Plymouth Company at Popham in 1607, the same year as the settlement at Jamestown, Virginia. The Popham colonists returned to England after 14 months. Two Jesuit missions were established by the French, one on Penobscot Bay in 1609 and the other on Mount Desert Island in 1613. The same year, Cassine was established by Claude de la Tour. In 1625, Charles de Saint-Étienne de la Tour erected Fort Pentagouet to protect Castine. The coastal areas of Western Mayer first became the province of Maine in a 1622 land patent. Eastern Maine north of the Kennebec River was more sparsely settled and was known in the 17th century as the territory of Sargade Hoc. A second settlement was attempted at a place called York in 1623 by English explorer and naval captain Christopher Levitt, granted 6,000 acres by King Charles I of England. That settlement also failed. Central Maine was formerly inhabited by people of the Androscoggin tribe, also known as Arosa Guntercook. The Androscoggin were a tribe in the Abenaki nation. They were driven out of the area in 1690 during King William's War. They were relocated at St. Francis, Canada, which was destroyed by Rogers Rangers in 1759, and is now Odanak. The other Abenaki tribes suffered several severe defeats, particularly during Dummer's War, with the capture of Norwich Walk in 1724 and the defeat of the Peckorkit in 1725, which greatly reduced their numbers. They finally withdrew to Canada, where they were settled at Beconcourt and Sillery, and later at St. Francis, along with other refugee tribes from the south. The province within its current boundaries became part of Massachusetts Bay Colony in 1652. Maine was much fought over by the French, English and Allied natives during the 17th and early 18th centuries who conducted raids against each other, taking captives for ransom or, in some cases, adoption by Native American tribes. For instance, in early 1692, the Abenaki raided York, killing about 100 of the English settlers and taking another estimated 80 villages hostage. The Abenaki took captives taken during raids of Massachusetts in Queen Anne's War of the early 1700s to Carnewake a Catholic Mohawk village near Montreal, where some were adopted and others ransomed. After the British defeated the French in Acadia in the 1740s, the territory from the Penobscot River east fell under the nominal authority of the province of Nova Scotia, and together with present-day New Brunswick formed the Nova Scotia County of Sunbury, with its Court of General Sessions at Campobello. American and British forces contended for Maine's territory during the American Revolution and the War of 1812, and British forces occupied East and Maine in both conflicts. 
The treaty concluding revolution was ambiguous about Maine's boundary with British North America. The territory of Maine was confirmed as part of Massachusetts when the United States was formed, although the final border with British territory was not established until the Webster-Ashburton Treaty of 1842. Maine was physically separate from the rest of Massachusetts. Long-standing disagreements over land speculation and settlements led to Maine residents and their allies in Massachusetts proper forcing an 1807 vote in the Massachusetts Assembly on permitting Maine to secede. The vote failed. Secessionist sentiment in Maine was stoked during the War of 1812 when Massachusetts pro-British merchants opposed the war and refused to defend Maine from British invaders. In 1819, Massachusetts agreed to permit secession if voters in Maine approved. Due to these considerations and rapid population growth, in 1820 Maine voted to secede from Massachusetts. The secession and formation of the state of Maine as the 23rd state occurred on March 15, 1820, as part of the Missouri Compromise which geographically limited the spread of slavery and enabled the admission to statehood of Missouri the following year, keeping a balance between slave and free states. Maine's original capital was Portland, Maine's largest city, until it was moved to Augusta in 1832 to make it more central within the state. The principal office of the Maine Supreme Judicial Court remains in Portland. The 20th Maine, under the command of Colonel Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain, defended Little Round Top at the Battle of Gettysburg. Its soldiers prevented the Union Army from being flanked by the Confederate Army. Four U.S. Navy ships have been named as Maine in honor of the state. Etymology There is no definitive explanation for the origin of the name of Maine. The state legislature in 2001 adopted a resolution establishing Franco-American Day, which stated that the state was named after the former French province of Maine. Other theories mention earlier places with similar names, or claim it is a nautical reference to the mainland. The history of the name of Maine began with James Sullivan's 1795 History of the District of Maine. He made the unsubstantiated allegation that the province of Maine was a compliment to the Queen of Charles I, Henrietta Maria, who once owned the province of Maine in France. This was quoted by almost all Maine historians until the 1845 Agnes Strickland biography established that she had no connection to the province of Maine in France. King Charles I married Henrietta Maria in 1625, three years after the name Maine first appeared on the charter. A new theory, set forth by Carol B. Smith Fisher, is that the province of Maine was first chosen by Sir Ferdinando Gorges in 1622 to honor the village where his ancestral roots first took hold on English soil. Maine appears in the Doomsday Book of 1086 in reference to the county of Dorset, that is today Broad Maine, just southeast of Dorchester. The generally held view amongst British place name scholars is that Maine in Dorset is Brythonic, corresponding to modern Welsh Mayan, plural, Maine, or Maine. Some early speakings are Maine 1086, Mine 1200, M E I N E S 1204, Maine 1236. Today the actual village is known as Broad Maine, which is primitive Welsh or Brythonic Maine, meaning rock or stone. Considered to be a reference to the many large sarsens still present around Little Main Farm, half a mile northeast of Broad Main Village. The first known record of the name appears in an August 10, 1622, land charter to Sir Ferdinando Gorges and Captain John Mason, English Royal Navy veterans, who were granted a large tract in present-day Maine at Mason and Gorges, intend to name the province of Maine. Mason had served in the Royal Navy in the Orkney Islands where the chief island is called Mainland. A more likely named derivation for these English sailors than the French province. A year later, in 1623, the English naval captain Christopher Levitt, exploring the New England coast, wrote, The first place I set my foot upon in New England was the Isle of Shoals, being elands, sick in the sea. 
above two leagues from the main. Initially, several coastal tracts along the coast of New England were referred to as Main or Main, a reconfirmed and enhanced April 3, 1639. Charter from England's King Charles I gave Sir Ferdinando Gorges increased powers over his new province and stated that it shall forever hereafter be called and named the province or C-O-U-N-T-I-E of Maine, and not by any other name or names whatsoever, whatever the origin. The name was fixed in 1665 when the King's commissioners ordered that the province of Maine be entered from then on in official records. Maine is the only state whose name has exactly one syllable, and is the only state to border only one other.